Hi there, we're moving away from our waltz timer three now back to our old friend of four four. Now you may remember when we talked about syncopation and ragtime, as you can see from the graphic above my head, it was putting an accent on the weak beat, i.e. tying the quavers four and five together just to give that little stress to the weak beat. Now the bossa nova uses a mixture of strong and weak beats to create its kind of lilting, very dancey feel. And if you look at that same graphic, we take the slur out and uh, we put an accent on quaver number three, which is a strong beat, obviously, and then quaver six and eight, which are weak ones at the end. Now, if you put all that together, you end up with a pattern that sounds like this. Now, to make that sound more bossa nova -y, we're actually gonna do a little twiddle on the chord like this. And now to really nail down the bottom over, we'll use just a very simple addition to our C major chord, a major seventh. Hopefully moving you from the confines of this studio onto the beaches of Ipanema. Uh, samba, which is a very linked feel to bossa nova, is essentially almost the same, but just in double time. So you get a feel like this. So kind of double time bossa nova. And then we end up with tango, which is a slightly more complex dance form. And there are two elements to tango. There's a, a very strong four to the bar pulse with accents on very obvious beats like the first one. And then our little arpeggiation of the chord to nail that down in a kind of very similar rhythm to the bossa nova. that tango it sounds faintly ridiculous because I am playing it in major and the majority of tangos are in a minor key so if you'll just bear with me changing major to minor very swiftly we get this so tango styles again we're not going to go through dynamics and articulation with all of these because we've done so much on that in earlier clips I'm sure you can work out where those uh, louds and softs and slurs, it's all very simple, the harmony, you can work that out for yourself. But the thing that's really nailing the tango is that little push on the eighth quaver of the bar. Now it's gone beyond our syncopated ragtime where you simply tie the notes together and you don't really play it, put any accent on it or kind of dynamic stress. This time it's a very pronounced moving from mezzo piano to forte just on that beat. Just something as simple as that, just taking four chords to a bar, adding one little extra chord on the eighth quaver and playing it loud is enough to say tango to you. So very simple rhythmically, I added a little bit of harmony in there just to kind of show you how a tango would sound, but essentially the pattern, very simple. <laughs> 